what's going on guys technograph here and in today's video i'm going to be continuing on with the world's fastest quickest bestest revit course on online so this is a quick revit course for all of you that want to get started with revit quite quickly this is part five and in this part we are going to be modeling the entryway for our little house that we are building but before i get started i would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me a lot and if you haven't already i suggest you to subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day so if you don't want to miss on any revit knowledge in the future make sure to hit that subscribe button okay let's get started so this is the building that would have been modeling so let's just spin around a bit let's see what we have and as you can see here this is our entry door and from the position of this door it hasn't quite certain how do you enter this building you will have to devise some sort of ladder or here or a rope so you cannot climb up to so this doesn't work we need to create some entryway over here some some sort of an entry that can connect to this terrain over here on the right side okay so how do we do that well first let's go into our entry level and here we have got this floor that we created in one of the previous tutorials and actually it's a 400 millimeter floor which is a bit too much in my opinion so i'm actually going to go here into edit type and change that so i'm just going to duplicate it because always when you are creating a new floor or in new wall you just duplicate an existing one and then you update it so i'm just going to change this from 400 to something like 200 hit ok go into structure into edit type and here for our structural material i'm just going to change this from a 4 to a 2 and then that will be enough to make this a bit thinner so now if i just go into 3d for a second as you can see this is a lot thinner now okay let's go back into our entry level and once this is all selected let's create a little entry area over here so i'm just going to go here into edit boundary or alternatively you can just double click and then you can enter edit the boundary so i'm just going to be using the pick line for this i'm just going to pick one line over here one of these lines one of these lines and let's add one line upper here and let's use another one kind of like this okay so once we have got this line over in place we actually need one more line number here maybe like that okay so now first let's use split line so i'm just going to go sl or you can use the split line button over here and you just click once over here on this side of the door and once over here and i'm just going to hit escape and then go with and extend so what i'm doing now is just trimming and extending this link so it kind of goes through the door trim and extend this trim and extend this and do the same thing over here so you have got something that looks kind of like this and then you can just hit finish and you again get this message and you just click no because you don't want to attach this wall to your floor because there is another floor above it okay here we go we have this is what we have to this is an entry level and now let's add a wall or here i think that would be quite nice so let's go to entry level and let's use that foundation wall because it's a bit bigger so let's open up here in the pop so you just go again architecture wall and then you go open up the drop menu and you search for your some i don't know some foundation wall 300 millimeter and here and for the location line i'm just going to go with the finish face interior and for the height yeah i'm just going to go i'm just going to go like this from let's leave it unconnected and uh, 3.5 meters and then we are going to adjust it later on so you just create a wall kind of like this okay so once we have that let's go into 3d so this is kind of what we did okay so now to make it maybe a bit taller select it go to your properties panel and let's change some of these settings up so the base constraint it shouldn't go from the level to entry level it should go from the foundation so as you can see now it's going all the way down and for the base offset we don't need any base offset so let's just type in zero and for the top constraint let's go up to roof okay there we go and now it looks a bit better it's going from foundation to almost roof and that looks all right for now we are going to be adjusting that a bit more in the future but now let's add a ramp over here 
and now we have to add a ramp because our terrain is all the way down here so let's create a ramp so how do you do that in Revit well let me show you how do you do some modeling in 3d so just go here to edit boundary while this is selected and now we are going to be pulling this all the way into kind of the middle part of this wall as you can see so you are just kind of pull it in a bit like that and you just finish and they want to attach the bottom again you say no okay let's go to entry level and now let's let's create that ramp so now for the ramp tool you can use just a simple floor again so just to go floor and then again we are going to be using pick line so pick this line this line you pick this line and you pick this line you hit escape you go in to trim and extend that's over here and then you go from here to here from here to here from here to here and from here to here and as uh, you can see now everything is trimmed and extended and actually i can pull this out a bit even more and now to add that little slope to this thing you go to slope arrow and then you go from here to here and you created this little slope arrow so what did this arrow is going to be telling robert is where what is the height at the end part of this arrow and what is the height of the arrow part of this arrow okay so let level at l this is currently at the default but we have got this little height offset so default basically means it's at the level at which it is so this is now at level entry level so this is at entry level with uh, and height offset and for the height offset let's type in minus two meters and for level at head let's do default with zero offset because it should be in line with this part over here so if i hit finish and again no and go into 3d as you can see you know, we have got this little ramp that's going from our entry level to all the way into the ground and we can actually bring it up and let's change the type from a generic 400 to a one that we created generic 200 okay and let's go into edit boundary and again and change that arrow a bit so from minus two let's to minus 1.6 hit finish so and yeah i think this is quite all right right now okay and uh, let's uh, do a couple of more things let's now attach this roof to the wall so how do you do that what's the score here so what you need to do is you need to change the actual roof so for that let's go to roof level and as you can see if it doesn't look like this to you if you don't have this wireframe if it's just a line that's okay so now if you can see underneath You can see the underneath what you can do you can go here to the properties panel and for underlay make sure you set it up at a level two entry so you are going to get this grade out little entry level and then you just select the roof go into edit footprint and again here is my pick line use the pick lines a lot in revit and you pick this to then you select them and you uncheck the that's uh, slow because that's not something you want to have to now you go into trim and extend so you are trim and extend this is and yeah let's maybe extend it a bit okay and hit finish and actually yeah i made a bit of a mistake so let me go into edit footprint again and let's move this to the outside of this wall and finish go into 3d and this is what we have and now let's just attach this wall to the roof so you go attach top base you select the roof and here we go now it's attached now just to make this a bit more interesting and a bit more safe as well let's add some railing over here on this uh, terrace that we have over here or this entry level as well as this and this terrace over here so how do you do that in Revit well let's go into entry level so everything is at entry level so that's where we have to be now you have got this railing tool now you can open up the drop menu and you can see now you can add a railing to your ramp or stair or you can just sketch it somewhere on your model so let's just go for sketch part or you can just go and click here on this button okay so now you are basically sketching out your railing as uh, you would any other element in Revit and for this part over here it needs to be at exact exact offset from this line as well as this line so for that we can use the pick line tools with an offset of something like 0 0.5 which is like 5 centimeter and let's do something like uh, this and also we want to have railing over here so let's add really there okay and let's just make this a bit smaller so maybe like that and there maybe like that okay 
and now if I hit finish as you can see we can't finish so what's the problem here well the problem is okay let's just go no okay the problem is when you are creating railing you can only use connected lines if you ever disconnect the line it cannot be railing so I'm just going to delete this part only this part will be a part of the railing and we can actually maybe drop this back a bit we don't have to waste that much railing okay yeah. so we just have to finish and go into 3d spin around and here we go here we got our pipe railing or we can use maybe this rectangular one but uh, i prefer using the pipe for most of the stuff you can use this glass but again i don't think it goes with uh, the design of this house but if i'm wrong you can use whatever you desire okay and let's just do the one over here for this so just go again entry level and you go here to architecture railing offset let's use 0 0.05 and uh, I go from here to here then let's bring this in a bit and actually I am just going to be bringing it all the way here yeah we don't have to extend it and for this one let's extend it to the wall so let's end it on here okay and if we just go finish go into 3d as you can see now we have got a bit of railing here and some railing over here that's really important from safety Okay, that's pretty much it for at this tutorial in which I show you how to model the entry entry part of this house as well as this cool railing. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next part, we are going to be adding stair and some interesting elements like that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any question, comments or suggestion for any future tutorial, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and you have a nice day.